Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Vol Classics, Tuesday, the 8th of April, and we've got an eight-race program, and I've seldom seen a poorer card. Uh, there's really very little to get excited about this card, except that the Alexanders, uh, Gary and Dean, two of the nicest guys in racing, um, are packing up. I think they've got a big sale tomorrow, and um, they are... Uh, having their last, I would think it's their last runner, a horse called Prospector in race six, and I really hope it wins for them. Um, they've been tremendous supporters of the game. Uh, without them, Summerhill Stud, I think, would have gone under. They have really been supporters of Summerhill Stud and bought some extremely good horses from them. And um, I, I can't say enough how much we can we lose uh, people like this uh, to the industry and... Um, I've always found them uh, the most down-to-earth, honest, nicest people around and uh, their parents brought them up beautifully and um, they've run it through and been very, very good racehorse trainers as well. And um, I brought a lot of people into the business and certainly helped a lot of people enjoy their racing. So very sad to see them packing up and uh, I really hope their last runner can win. But let's look at this uh, race meeting, eight race program, five to one. And uh, it's, uh, as I say, on the classic track and the last two races, uh, the draw will become very prominent. Right, let's have a look at the first race. It's off at 12.55 and you can't go against Chariot Master here. Looks like the right horse speed, speed rating, everything in his favour. Uh, three scratchings, two, three and eight. So number one, Chariot Master, very strong. Uh, Terry's other runner, Pinnett. Uh, been a little support for this, but he gets a rider that um, really is a beginner, and uh, who knows how he will go. Sudden break, got to have some sort of chance, but I'm going strongly with Chariot Master. Race two, Maiden Juvenile Plate, 1,000 meters, and uh, here I'm going with uh, Irfan's boy, Calvin Abib, for the Ashley Fortune Stable number seven on the card. The big, big danger might be Miss Magician. Now, it's quite interesting that Terry runs this filly in the Colts section, um, the Colts side of uh, the Maiden Juvenile Plate, and runs a filly on the other side, Meteor Meteoric. So have a very close look at both of these horses. Um, uh, might need run, quartet chance is the comment for both of them. So that doesn't really tell us anything. Might need a run, as I keep telling, saying, you know, Sean, you, you, know, you know whether horses need a run or not. Uh, you know whether you gallop them. You know whether they've had enough work. They might need experience, um, but uh, the run, I don't know. I, I, he normally gets his horses pretty well. So I would expect it to be uh, a danger. And when he's running it on the cold side, quite interesting to see because he's not scared to take the two and a half um, kilo sex allowance and go from there. Chief Rafif, well bred, Australian bred by Rafif out of an Australian mare and uh, no support in the bedding for him. So that's why I, I've got to go with um, with Irfan's boy of the horses at a run. Race three, maiden juvenile, played thousand meters. Well, here you go, uh, Meteoric, we don't know how good it is, might need run, uh, quartet chance. Uh, we've seen them run, come home lonely uh, with this type of comment. Uh, so only uh, the betting will tell you, and even then, it's no certainty. Eternity Ring, number one, looks like the, the, the big improver. Very nice first run uh, for uh, Baron Portis and Muzi Yeni jumps aboard now. Should go well. Number two, uh, Paul Peters runner, first in county. He says speedy. So that means it's got some pace. It's, uh, the course should be quick. And uh, this might just get away from them. First encounter will be interesting to see how it goes. Franca gets a four kilogram claim and probably ran his best race with Zola Jacobs when it had the four kilogram claim the run before last at the Vol. So could go well here too. And then Stolen Kiss, Tori Shams runner. Uh, it's got two nice runs and could be a big improver. That's number nine on the card. Race four, Maiden Plate. They go a thousand meters. And I'm going strongly with number five, Mike the Cox runner. I think he needed his couple of runs. He's beautifully bred, as I've said before. And um, uh, this looks like a very, very ordinary field. The even money favorite is Love Lies. That's just been to KwaZulu Natal. Can't have that. Trust of Fire, not a bad last run, but I'm going strongly with Mike's horse. I think that there's big value in this one here. 
Right, let's go and have a look at, um, at race five. And this is a maiden plate fillies and mares that go 1,000 meters. Uh, Ashley Fortune, Calvin Habib, number nine, Silvery Blue, each way, five, no, five to one. I think it will improve over the 1,000. I think the 1,200 was too far for it. Comes back to the 1,000, that will give it a big chance. Country Mile gets a blinkers. Maybe that will help it. Sola Jacob claims four, that helps as well. Then there's um, number five, Tal Taladaga. Uh, from the Sean Terry yard, uh, got good form, and Lyle Hudson rides at Sky Kingdom's got some sort of chance as well. And Smelting, uh, Gavin Arena sticks with this one, gets the blinkers, and they improved her last time. So she could also be there or thereabouts. So there's uh, five or six they've got chances in this race. Uh, the first time Aunt Lizzie, number eight, is um, the favorite. So it will be very interesting to see how the betting goes. Race six. Uh, 1800 meter, mirror rated 80, and I'm going to go with Alexander's. Uh, I really hope this wins Prospector number two. I think there's value at three to one. He's got form, and it would love, be great to see them win their last race on their way um, to Australia. And we wish him all the very best in Australia. But uh, it's very open apart from that. Humble Tune gets the blinkers, and um, the uh, team will be hoping that uh, this uh, the African betting clan team will be hoping that. This does the trick for Humble Tune. So Mungo rides and knows how to get on well with Humble Tune. Seaway, second run after rest, could improve. Romeo's Magic got good form and now gets a top rider. Gavin Larino's had Solomon's on. That's a big plus. Imperial Master, improved last run. The Gaveo for Stuart Pettigrew. He's got some nice runners. Lord Melbourne gets Craig Zaki again. Uh, it's very, very open. But uh, Car number nine, Carrion. Uh, the Blinkers uh, are back on could be the right move. So it's basically a field race, but I'm going to go with Prospector. I hope that that wins. Race seven, Merrill rated 76, 14.50. And here's another race that's pretty much impossible. Bella Rosa, Stuart Pettigrew's runner is my top choice, but has drawn 12. And if you look at the draw bias on, on this classic track, and that's why I don't like this track at all. Um, if you're drawn further out than eight, you really have got less than 4% chance of winning. Um, that's what the statistics show. So all the glows draw nine. Uh, that looks like got to have a big chance. Lorraine drawn seven. Dion Sampson rides as well. And um, uh, course and distance, two from four run a place as well. So it should go well. A flames drawn 13. Um, and then Campama drawn 11 gets... Um, Lyle Hewitson, I liked it last time, ran no type of race, very hard to follow some of these horses, and that's why this is a shocking race card. Race 8, uh, 1450, maiden plate fillies and mares. I'm going with number 3, each way fashion, fascinada. Um, Pierce Stratum rides us for Brett Weber, could go very well here. Galaxy Riders got a, didn't run a bad first run, and uh, Weather Bomb might be a big improver as well. Uh, cast a dice drawn wide, that's not going to help that tough race as well. But I think that you can narrow it down to those that I've mentioned. So all in all, um, tribute to the Alexanders. Have a great day's racing and uh, think of them uh, and what they've done for this industry. From me, James Goodman and the whole Interbet team, have a great day's racing. Remember, you can play the Vegas games. I was actually on a, on a bit of a run playing Caribbean poker last night. It was great fun. And uh, we found a couple of um, six-card um, trips and full houses. It was just great. So I really enjoyed that. Get on to the Vegas games.